Hey guys, <coughs> I'm I'm Kerry <coughs> West. Uh, and, and welcome, welcome back to my f f photography channel. Uh. How are you? So I went out and did a POV yesterday. This is gonna be a slightly shorter video. I took the a7 III out, of course, with the Sigma 24 to 70. And a kind of a late afternoon, 5, 6 p.m. ish, and uh, it was so goddamn smoky out there that I could really only stay out for about an hour before my throat started closing up, basically. So that was fun. But I got some okay images. It was really diffused. Um, I was looking for more of the harsh light, but I just didn't get it, so I kind of had to make do with what I had. So we'll see if I get lung aids. Hopefully not, but even if I did, you know, um, I got some images out of it, so I'm really hoping this isn't just what summer is like from now on because I'm pretty sure the end of the world is coming. So let's photograph it, right? Anyway, let's jump into this. Uh, don't forget to keep an eye open for the pug hidden in this video. No, it's not this one right here. It will actually be hidden in the video because if you're the first person to correctly post the timestamp where it's at, I'll shovel your driveway um, with kitchen utensils. So I hope you enjoy. Alright, so here we are, and uh, you know, part of me was kind of hoping that the smoke in the air here would be a little more pleasant to look at, maybe create some nice diffusion, and I mean, in a way it did, but I think deep down I knew that it would just look like fucking LA or something with just massive amounts of pollution because that's what it is basically it's just fire pollution on top of the already polluted air that's here in denver the air quality here this year is awful but you know as negative as the end of the world sounds i actually had a really good day it was very positive everybody was super nice and talkative and it was just a fun experience this was the first uh, sort of interesting thing i ran into was this guy with his seven little wagons he was pulling behind him and uh, i had a short conversation with him after i got a better shot of him up the road a little bit Oh, man, it looks awesome, man. <laughs> At the very least, I like the hat too. Started out one year, but seven years ago, it was one wagon. Man. Yeah. We go feed all these kids. Just keep down. adding them on, man. They go down to Confluence Park. Okay. Yeah. That's cool, man. That's really nice of you. Sandwiches and water. And that. Yeah, medicine, fucking a. You want if I take a portrait? Yeah. How was your day? Not bad. There we go. Stuff, yeah, yeah, just a little YouTube stuff, you know, street photography yeah, and like architecture. And... Yeah, I got a YouTube channel if you want to check it out. It's Cary West Photography. Cary West? Yeah, C A R E Y. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. I'm glad you're doing this, man. This is really cool and interesting. I like it. Yeah, it's been seven years. I tried pulling eight wagons. But... <laughs> just one too many? Well, when I come up, I used to come up out of the river bottom, you know? Yeah. Back when everybody was down by the river, but now they're not there. Yeah, they're so stylish, man. I love the red. It's really well, I didn't cool. know how to carry it when I was my first day out. Yeah, well, they, they pop too, so everybody sees you coming, so that's yeah, good. I used to have bells right. on them and stuff. Oh, okay. Nice. All right, nice man. You, yeah, man. you too, buddy. You have a good one. Super nice guy. I guess he just kind of walks around with these little trailers and delivers food and medicine and stuff to people, and homeless people and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. I can't believe I've never seen him before. He stands out like a sore thumb, and I've never once seen him, so I'm glad I got some shots of him. Still just kind of warming up, it's mostly trash, but I just kind of wanted to play with these bright neon colors in the frame. I really like this composition, I love how it fades slowly into darkness, especially with the bright yellow and reds right in the center. I, I kind of wish he would have just walked more normally, but he was kind of being a goof for the photo, so that's still cool, it was a nice, uh, it was a nice little interaction, so I can't really complain too much. I ended up cropping this one pretty heavily. I, 
I just don't feel comfortable walking up to people, especially when they're alone and uh, sitting and just trying to enjoy a meal or something and sticking a camera in their face. So I stayed back a little bit and I got this photo and I cropped in. So I lost some resolution, but I do really like that line of shadow running right down the middle with the dark on the right side. I wasn't really expecting it, but these two actually ended up being a couple of my favorites. I, I love the framing and the dark left side, and the second one, this kid only had his hand up in the air for about a half a second, and I was able to grab it real quick. And especially with everybody else looking up, I think it just really tied it together nicely. Stayed in this spot for a few minutes. I, uh, I noticed that the number three was in the reflection, so you could see three three times. And I was waiting for three people to walk by, and I did get them, but um, they weren't very clearly defined. Maybe I should have stayed even longer and gotten very defined people in it, but I think it still works. I still like the images. Oh, would you look at that? We're all gonna die. I mean, I'm no astro-psychologist, but I'm pretty sure that's not what the sun is supposed to look like. I'm pretty sure this one is my favorite. I love the layers and uh, how they're both kind of engrossed in what they're doing, looking opposite directions and stacked on top of one another. This one was kind of interesting. I love seeing horses in the city, and I mean, they're all over the place, but I still photograph them every single time. And at first, I really didn't like that these cars were in the way, but now I, I kind of like it how you can only see his head popping up behind the truck looking back at the horse. Definitely had to wait here for a while for somebody to come through, but I love these reflections in this granite or marble or pumice or bacon or pasta or whatever the hell this stuff is that's so shiny but uh, I'm glad that the one guy that came through had a bright blue shirt on it really made him pop in the center of the frame and then his wife or daughter or sister or lover or grandmother came up behind him and actually they kind of exchanged something so I thought that was interesting as well was kind of a throwaway. I was really hoping to get that guy's face a little more clearly defined, um, either the driver or the guy getting on the bus, but I don't know. Either way, those, those red lights always make the photos look pretty cool back there. Well, this one coming up is the last image, so I hope you enjoyed. I'll leave you with a dog taking a dump on the sidewalk. Very artistic expression I've got going on over here. But anyway, I thought it was interesting how uh, the world is ending and stuff, and, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, make sure you subscribe and like the video as well. Since we're all going to burst into flames within the next five years or so, I'd, I'd really appreciate just one more subscriber, and I think that could be you. I'll see you guys in the next one.